back to my channel today we are going to talk about the turkish government scholarship interview before that i guess you are wondering where i am right now i am somewhere in kush adasi in aydin about 12 hours from ankara yeah we came here for a camp organized by anadolu genshlik brilii um, anadolu youth community or something like that <laughs> i don't know what brilik means in, in english um, i think association yeah anyways we came here for a two-day camp and today is the last day so we just came to see the beach and it's a very nice area here i hope you guys can see around yeah so we're just going back to the campsite right now anyways let's go straight into our topic for today first of all to confirm if you actually submitted your application all you need to do is log into the portal and click on my application just make sure it shows a written evaluation and that means you actually submitted your application now the next question is when the interview will be according to the website Tokyo Bustlery website the interviews are scheduled for June slash July so you should expect to receive the emails at the end of May or beginning of June or at most towards the end of June I guess so between now and May I don't think it's best to just wait for them to send the emails instead you should please apply to other scholarship opportunities apply to other universities and even if you want to apply to universities in turkey now is the right time because most schools here in turkey start their application um, in april up until august so you may research one, some schools that you would like to study in and start applying to them okay now let's talk about the interview how do you actually slay your interview First of all, please take your document. That is very, very important. It is terrible to get there and then you realize you forgot some of your documents. Your ID card, your passport, if you have it, your uh, international exam results, national exam results, your testimonial or graduation certificate or diploma, your transcript, and any other document you submitted at all, even your letter of recommendation. Please take all your documents. Do not forget any one of them. Now, how do you come? yourself what can you do to prepare well what kind of dresses should you wear but before that let me show you guys around here so number one to prepare for the interview I think you should make sure you read your letter of intent and make sure everything you wrote there resonates with you that it is actually what you want to do what you want to study your future plans are exactly your future plans you get what i mean make sure you believe in what you have written so that when you are asked questions about it you can answer confidently something else you can do to prepare very well for your interview is to actually read more you know gain more information about what you want to do and your future plans Apart from what you have written in your letter of intent, for what other reasons do you want to study your course? Yeah, it's always good when you have so much knowledge about your interested field of study so that when you are asked, you can, you know, easily flow. One way to eliminate stammering during the interview is to already have what you want to say in your head. I'm not saying you should memorize answers, but, you know, have so much knowledge, you should make enough research so that when you are asked it just automatically comes you know when you know what you want to say it's always easy to explain to the other party some of you ask me if you can write the tofu between now and may and what i would say is if the result will be out before may of course you, you can take it if you don't use it for Turkey or Slurry, you may use it for other universities in other countries that may need it so if you're only doing it for Turkey or Slurry, i'm not sure if it's a good option except you really want to study in turkey and you may use it to apply to other universities but if you know you also want to try to apply to other universities then you can definitely take it if the result will be out before the call for interview if not you can still take it too since you're using it for um, other universities okay hey guys i am actually my friend here. this is carlos i'm sure you guys know him already and hi this is, this is abdel garden from chad how are you doing guys tell them to subscribe no 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 don't, don't subscribe this is don't forget <laughs> channel and don't forget to subscribe my friendly channel 
Yeah, <laughs> Carlos is actually learning English, so I think he's doing well right now. We can speak. How you doing? I'm good, bro. Well, is English easy for you? Yeah, English, yeah so so, so easy. easy. I yeah. need just the, the time for speaking this language. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I wish you guys uh, good luck. Good luck for you for the yeah, scholarship. Yeah, yeah, inshallah. Yeah, all preparing for interview. Yeah, for interview. Inshallah, we'll, inshallah, we'll also. see you soon here in Turkey. Yeah, inshallah. Oh, okay. And we can go on nice trips together. Yeah, yeah, yeah here. Oh, look, look at the, look at the. There are a lot of beautiful places right. here in Turkey. So we are inshallah, we'll see you soon here in inshallah. Turkey. Uh, ciao. The last thing I want to talk about is this dressing. A lot of people ask what should they wear to the interview. What I would say is that you should wear something casually formal, not too casual, not too formal. For guys, a shirt and a trouser should be good. You don't have to wear a suit and tie. Girls too, a gown should be okay. Not those with extra shiny bright colors. Just something simple, okay? But at the same time, quite formal. In the interview, while you have been asked questions, please compose yourself. Even if you know the questions already or you know the answers to the questions, explain it to them in a way that's relatable, respectable, and don't just bluff out anything. Don't just um, you know speak so fast that they don't understand you. Try to explain yourself very well and take your time. Calm down, breathe in, and I believe everything will be okay for you, inshallah. And finally, I would say um, you guys should practice a lot. Like there's nothing as good as practicing. Imagine yourself sitting in front of the interviewer. How do you respond to questions? Um, how do you actually compose yourself? In fact, you can practice with a friend, let them be the interviewer and ask questions. Why do you want to study your course? Why do you want to study in Turkey? What are your future plans? What do you do outside school? What are your hobbies? These are questions that you are likely to be asked and I think it would help a lot if you practice for them. Okay, that's it from me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like it, share with friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. See you at bye 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 ciao, bye. Ciao, Good luck. Ciao. Good luck, people. Hello, so. <laughs> ciao.